Hey, how's it going everyone? Coach Mike here at Hybrid Fitness in Warren. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover the five top mistakes that I see beginners make when they first start out in boxing. I'll show you how to clean everything up so we can make sure that you're getting the most out of your workouts and you're not gonna injure yourself. Let's go. All right, mistake number one is gonna be overextending the elbows. So one of the leading causes of injury in boxing comes from hyperextending the elbows when you're throwing punches. This often comes from misjudging your distance between yourself and the enemy or the bag that you're using, or just downright improper punching technique. But you always wanna make sure that you're close enough to the bag so you can hit it with a fully extended jab. Using the jab to assess your distance is ideal, because if you can hit the target with the extended jab, you're gonna be at a good distance to land all the rest of the punches. Also make sure that you're fully extending, not only partially extending your punches, Another common issue is punching with a chopping motion rather than punching straight forwards. So a good way to work on this is to imagine punching through a pipe. Punch will have to go straight forwards through the pipe, miss the sides, that will help you throw straighter punches. All right, the second mistake is gonna be not snapping the punches back and dropping the hands. So another mistake I see all the time is people throwing punches forwards and letting them linger out in front. But really every punch should be snapped back to the chin right after it's thrown. If you've ever whipped a towel before, it's kind of a similar motion to that. So you whip it forwards and then backwards as well. Helps with the power of the punch, helps make your technique more efficient and getting the punches back quickly is important so you can throw them again if needed or also obviously for the defensive aspect so you can protect your head. Always snap your punches back to the chin. Also, if your fist isn't throwing a punch, it should be by the chin or protecting the head. So I usually see dropped fists after punches or while slipping. You never wanna let your hands drop down. You always wanna bring them back to the defensive position. All right, mistake number three is not turning the hips or using your core. So you always need to turn your hips and transfer your weight around to get a lot of power through your punches and have efficient technique, especially with the cross and the hooks. So when you're throwing these punches, you should rotate through your shoulders and your hips as well. Hooks are awkward punches to master at first. Usually I like to say, think of your core and your torso as a spring. So when you're throwing a hook, you wanna almost load the spring before coming back around. So basically just loading the spring by rotating slightly to the opposite direction of the punch with your torso, and then using the momentum through your core, rotating back to add a little bit of power to the punch. This is easier and more effective if you throw the hook right after a punch that already sets you up in that position. For example, throwing a two and then coming back with a left hook or a three. All right, and the fourth mistake is gonna be feet crossing over while moving around. So you should never let your feet cross over when you're moving around. It'll throw you off balance and it'll make it very easy for you to be pushed over. You might also trip yourself. You should always start to move in any direction with the foot that's closest to that direction. For example, if you're righty and you're set up in an orthodox stance, which is your left foot out in front, right foot in the back, you wanna to move to the left by stepping with the left and then following with the right. Opposite is the same, if you're going to the right, you want to start with the right foot, which is already closer to that direction, and then follow through with the left foot. And same goes for moving forwards or backwards. If you're going forwards, you want to start by moving that front foot forwards and then following with the back foot. And if you're going backwards, you want to start by taking a step with the back foot and then following with the front foot. All right, and the last mistake is going to be breathing incorrectly. So I saved the best for last because this is the one that I see most often and that's often overlooked but is incredibly important. Holding your breath should never happen. Holding your breath through a punch or through a series of punches is never a good idea. It'll make you winded very quickly and especially in a real fight or in a 45 minute class where you throw a ton of punches, it's important to conserve your energy. So you should take a quick small breath with every punch. That way you're constantly moving air so you don't get tired too quickly. It also helps with adding a little bit of power through your punches. You have these deep core muscles that only contract when you forcibly exhale. 
So if you want to use your core to its highest potential, make sure you're breathing every single punch. All right, there you go, guys. Those are the five top mistakes that I see beginners make when they're first starting out in boxing and how to correct them. Hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. Make sure that you work on these things earlier on. It's important to train the right way so that you're not training the wrong way for a long time. And then you have to go back and retrain yourself on the basics. So make sure you get these five things down first. I hope I see you guys in class working on them. If you like this video, hit the like thumbs up button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more boxing related videos up on the channel that I'll post the links to in the description below. Remember, as always, keep taking small steps if you wanna get big results.